witches and gentlefolk, welcome to Tabletop Titties, a queer and feminist live Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition actual play podcast run entirely by people of marginalized genders. My name is Charlene Bear and I'll be your dungeon goddess this evening. My pronouns are she, they, and you can call me Char. But before we get into the episode, we want to acknowledge the colonial history of Canada and how Canada has and continues to take from Indigenous people. The effects of colonization are still felt to this day, and we acknowledge that this episode is being recorded on the stolen lands of the Sequetmic, Semiamu, Katsi, Kwantlen, Musqueam, Squamish, tsleil and Coast Salish First Nations. If you would like to know more about the effects of colonization and support some indigenous charities and organizations, you can go to the resources page on our website at tabletoptitties.com slash resources as a place to start. My Feywild exhausted Mm. players today are ready to go. Not me. (laughs) Uh, Hi, everybody. My name is Rachel (laughs) Feelin. My pronouns are she, her, and I play Borba Skullcleaver, the orc barbarian not exhausted, whose pronouns are also she, her. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually the one exhausted, so it feels nice. Hello, my name is Kelly. My pronouns are they, them, and I play Asher Lochner, the changeling way of mercy monk, celestial warlock, and their pronouns are also they, them, and they have twa levels of exhaustion. That's oh. that's three, baby. <laughs> Hello, my name is Sarah Mayfield. My pronouns are she, her, and I play Wilmer Adamus, my and is the third, and he, him, he is a half-elf wild magic sorcerer who is currently at level two exhaustion and wrapped up in a cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Emily Matchett. My pronouns are she, her, and I play Steve, the Gnome Rogue Artificer, whose pronouns are also she, her, and Steve is not exhausted at all and ready to go. One sec, I'm going to stop flipping you off as I transition to everyone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight, we have a very special guest joining us all the way from London, where it is incredibly early in the morning. <laughs> uh, hi, everybody. I'm Jeremy Cobb, uh, pronouns he, him, and I will be playing Arachne, the were spider. Uh, pronouns also he, him. Uh, he is a were spider. He doesn't have a class, but he is a <laughs> super he's a super classy fella who is here and ready to throw down. And uh yeah, I guess he's look at single, uh not looking to mingle, uh just <laughs> here to terrorize everyone. <laughs> Of long walks on the beach. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, actually, that's a real problem with the spider oh. legs. Mm. Uh, the shifting no. sands, very <laughs> difficult. Uh, as it turns out, it's just a lot of like <laughs> awkward sliding. Interesting. Uh, Summon around. sand. Yeah. Good to know. Good to know. My one weakness <laughs> Summon sand. sand. <laughs> uh, one um, of many, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> if you want your uh, wear spider to go on a sexy walk on the beach and you want to make it a bit more atmospheric with some wave sounds, with some fun tunes, uh, tonight we're using Sirenscape for our stream to make it more atmospheric. You can use their music in your home game too at sirenscape.com. It's fucking hey. free. Such a yeah, transition. and it's free. I was so confused for a second. Like, Where are you going? We are also at Hit Point Press oh, is being point. featured right yeah. now, of course, as we are in the Revalia. The whole role of Arachne, the uh, the character arc of Arachne and campaign section is from Hit Point Press. Thank you so much uh, for allowing us to use your lovely content in the stream. Spooky Horror Carnival, where can you go wrong? I mean, a lot of places. Lots of <laughs> scary places. Uh, but we are also going to be doing a nice little shout out to our friends over at Dork Tales, specifically because they are on a bit of a break at the moment because some of them got uh, really, really hacked over by the flooding that is going on in our province of British Columbia right now. I don't know if y'all are aware of that, but a lot of places are uh, getting evacuated and all that fun stuff. So uh, be sure to uh, give them a follow uh, send them some love over at twitch.tv slash dorktales for all of their episodes and VODs since they'll be back whenever they are they can. 
Uh, they have Dungeons and Dragons official and original adventures. They have Land of the. Uh, they have Cyberpunk Red, and they're also doing a Mage the Ascension uh, Chronicle in uh, Victorian London. So that's cool. Since we just finished our Victorian London show for the season, mm -hmm. check them out. We love them. We do. Potential content warnings for today include abduction, webbing, spiders, exhaustion, marionettes and clowns, uh, insects and maggot-like creatures, and bullying, gaslighting, coercion, and mind control. At Tabletop Titties, we are huge on safety tools. If ever anyone feels uncomfortable with anything that's been going on, we just use the X card, we say X, we do an X, we type X anything to let me know and I will change the scene um, without a moment's notice. Um, we highly recommend that you use them too. It just makes the game more fun. If you're going to do a horror campaign, it might as well have everybody be scared in a good way. Last time on Tabletop Titties. Borba and Steve searched Sophie's lab and after some quick thinking and avoiding an elemental spike trap, discovered the toy maker as well as an unknown potion decided upon by our patrons. Uh, and the neck romantic novel of Dr. Stella, giving Steve some extra spells to use without spell slots. Whew. Asher took a long rest to meditate by themselves, and Wilmer became obsessed with his newly, literally waxed chest and subsequent chiseled six pack. After their eight hour rest that the DM asked them many times if they wanted to take, the party decided to send the toy maker back to the lost and found to finish all preparations with the magical artifacts and revelers who have decided to join the cause. Traveling through a winding tunnel with weapons at the ready, the group met Cacophony and helped them escape her imprisonment, gaining yet another ally. Next, they met up with the reveler Trinity to experience her new show currently in the beta phase for the big top, Feywild Extreme. Running on a never-ending circular treadmill, Marge's favorites ran and ran and ran and ran and ran, experiencing all of the seasons at an extreme level and earning themselves some levels of exhaustion before making it to the end of the show. Unfortunately, Wilmer was not so lucky. Then after rolling a nat one constitution save, fell unconscious and was scooped up and cocooned into a sticky web. So all of you have just seen Wilmer be lifted uh, and Trinity says to you, congratulations, those of you who made it to this point, you've reached the end of the Big Top's next biggest show, Feywild Extreme. Unfortunately, we've run out of time and won't be able to provide you with the audience feedback forms, but don't worry, Arachne has some exciting plans for you. This way, please. And as she reaches forward, another arm extends from her torso as she uh, slenderly pulls back a webbed curtain, ushering you forward into what you know can only be Arachne's web. Oh, and I almost forgot your prize. Congratulations, you've saved Alice. And she snaps her fingers, revealing an unconscious marionette with green frizzy hair encased in wax and webbing, their space buns still in place on top of their head. And she says, I know a certain giant who'll be lucky to have them back in his life. I'll make sure Gary gets them. And she snaps Alice away and ushers you into the web. <clears throat> um, I suppose we should go. I, yes. we'll, we'll start walking and kind of slowly, pensively look to my friends and go, so uh, what's the game plan? Uh, we just literally saw our friend get taken hostage, and I feel like we should have a game plan. Uh, I believe that being upfront with our last few encounters has proven um, fruitful. Perhaps we should just tell them our intentions and retrieve Wilmer and be on our way? No bullshit. I like it. I um, feel like they already know we're on our way to kill Hecna anyway, so... Steve, you're... stealthy. Perhaps them not knowing that you're there may be of assistance. Sure. Um... Can I cast message back to where Wilmer was? Uh, yes. Wilmer! You there? You do not get a response. 
All right, let's go. Gotta get him back. Okay. We'll head on in. As yeah. you move forward, the air inside of Arachne's web is stifling and humid and thick with the sweet, cloying scent of decomposition. There are several human faces that protrude from the webbing and they're like, Open mouths hang in eternal screams with candles placed irreverently in their jaws. Everything is sticky with webbing. The walls, the floor, the ceiling. And in the center of this cocoon are the remains of an old small stage. It's spotlights and chairs half buried under silken strands. And in one corner, the far corner, is the distinctive figure of newly buff and tough Wilmer trussed up in ropes of webbing at the top of uh, the ceiling here in the tent, unconscious but seemingly unharmed compared to the other bodies. As you keep walking forward, two spotlights click into life, sending bright beams up to a fixed point on the ceiling. And standing upside down, painted in bright light and dark shadow, is Arachne in his hybrid spider form with his arms crossed and a smirk creeps over his handsome face. Um, hello, I'm... <clears throat> this Hi. is uh, your residence, I believe? <laughs> Why, yes, it is. <laughs> um, Borba, should... Th- we're, um... We're on our way to murder Hecna and are wondering if you would like to side with us. <laughs> Please. Me and Hecna are like this. And I hold up uh, four of like my legs and just uh, <laughs> intertwine them all uh, <laughs> above my head. Uh, and then as they're intertwined up there, I just start with, with my arms still folded, sort of rocking back and forth. Uh, as you hear this like s- weird... Uh, creepy carnival music playing from above. There's a full-on spider band just going to town up there, uh, <laughs> like full, like giant spiders just playing little, uh, like a little uh, circus tune. As I start to like sort of shimmy a little bit, and I'm like, <laughs> I find it very impressive that you managed to make it here. Ah, uh, well. You managed to make it here alive. <laughs> and most of you are conscious as well. Very, very intriguing. Uh, but I'm afraid I, I can't let you uh, go after Hecna, you see. As I said, <laughs> we are like this. And I point up again at my legs, which yeah. have somehow grown even tighter together. Your uh, f- physical relations with Hecna notwithstanding, um, I'm afraid that... Uh, if that's your response, our intentions are also to kill you as you have gotten into our in in our way. Um, mm. my, my my excuse is this: I'm very tired, um, but <laughs> not incapable of murder. Um, I'm just standing behind Asher with my arms crossed, just like nodding every time he says something. <laughs> like, yeah, they they're just I'm, I agree with them. Yes, this is very good. <laughs> Doing great, Asher. Thank you. <laughs> Um, Does this individual speak for all of you? Uh, I mean, motioning, I guess, to Borba and Steve as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty tired of people getting in our way, so you could just not do anything and let our friend go, and you don't have to join us, but just don't get in our way. That's also an option for you. Mm. So far, everybody who's gotten in our way is dead, so... Mm. Historically. Oh, has a point. Just saying. Well, well, I can guarantee you, none of those people are me. Uh, and then all <laughs> four of the legs that had been uh, arched above my head. <laughs> yeah, we all just, all of my arms start doing <laughs> jazz hands uh, as the band starts to pick up uh, further. Uh, I say, just got to get a quick swig, reach over, grab one of the bodies that's like, uh, that's webbed up and just give up. <sighs> hit the spot uh and then i i start like sort of bouncing back and forth in beat to the music hey hey char sorry can you please describe wilmer's up in the air 
Yes. So Wilmer is at the far corner of the room, but still attached to the top. You are at like the center of the big top. You finally made it um, to like the, the area where the tent peaks. Uh, Wilmer is attached, hanging from the ceiling about 40 feet up in the air. Uh, Arachne would be like maybe 15 feet across as he uh, it descends from the center of the tent. <clears throat> Mm. So, if we cut Wilmer free, Wilmer's probably falling then? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to message Borba and say, pass me a ring of feather falling. Like Subtly. Okay, I was going <laughs> to say, okay, I'm just going to like, kind of stretch. And I'll put my hand like... Looking like I'm re getting ready for a fight, yeah. just like cracking the knuckles and like then I'll I'll subtly as I'm cracking the knuckles like just slide the ring off and like hold it down for Steve to grab. Yeah, I will be grabbing it. I'll be doing the majority of the <laughs> hand. I just have to let you know. I feel like Borba would know this. Um you had to spend some time with this I, ring. Shit. Mm, okay. Shit. For it to work. Would would Steve know that though? Because <laughs> Borba super wouldn't really understand. Borba would just put it on and be like, "Hey, cool! This ring makes me float." <laughs> it worked. <laughs> um, then, as this exchange is going on, I will allow Borba to make a sleight of hand check with advantage, um, as Steve is attempting I to help you. I want to do it if if it's gonna take it to a tune. <laughs> I'll let you. You can make an intelligence check. As this is happening, Steve, to see if you well, or a history to... check to remember. Oh, no, I was a nineteen intelligence, or... which is history, so that's fine. Into history, yeah. I think. So my sleight of hand was a fourteen, so I've I've gotten it ready for Steve to grab if she wants to. <laughs> I message. I say, never mind. If that nineteen <laughs> is enough for me to know that you have to attune to it. Yes, uh, you would remember yeah. that. And it's at this point, actually, we're going to just remember where you are in this conversation. We are going to cut <laughs> to Wilmer, who is currently unconscious, hanging in the ceiling. Uh, Wilmer, what is passing through your subconscious, your psyche, as you hang? So Wilmer is dreaming of his palace in Wildwell as though the trials had never happened and he had never left the castle. And he wanders the halls in his princely garb, nodding to his parents. And running at him is his sister, Siafora, and she takes out both arms and gives him a giant hug. And, and he, as she's yeah. hugging you, uh, you hear her start to speak in a dreamlike voice. Wilmer, I've missed you so much, but look at everything you've accomplished. I know you can do this. And when you get back, we can make Fearfort a better place together. I can't wait to see you again, so don't leave me hanging for too long. I believe in you. Sia? <laughs> Are you here? <laughs> and then and then he just like he like steps back and like looks at her and then he looks around kind of realizing that this might not entirely be as real as it seemed a few moments ago. Uh, and as Sia's hugging you, her arms sort of like tighten around your body a little bit too much for comfort, and you're left with this feeling of pressure around your torso that sort of expands over your entire body. Um, is there anything else you'd like to do in your dream before we cut back to the rest of the party? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I guess just hug back as hard as possible. All right, yeah. <laughs> Um, and with that, we'll go back to Borba and Steve's um, discussion. Also, Arachne, what is your passive perception? I believe that my passive perception is 13. Oh, so you do not see Borba take off the ring. 
Oh, no, no, excuse me. My passive perception is 15. I just realized. Aha! Oh, then you no. would see. You <laughs> would. Do see. Oh, it's a good oh, thing I, I, I say never mind. <laughs> like, I kind of like subtly just like, oh, and then like, like sneak it back on. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> I point at you and go, sneaky, sneaky. Uh, I've, I've been, I imagine during this, like, I had scuttled over onto Wilmer's hanging body and sort of, like, latched on with my, like, the lower half of my spider body, and I'm envisioning, like, we had spun him the other way, so that then, like, I'm now spinning in a circle, like, upside down with my arms out. Uh, I've been singing, uh, The Kiss of the Spider Woman oh, uh, yeah. during this whole exchange, and I just, uh... <laughs> I'm like pointing at the climax of the song as uh, like as I see them like you can scream but you cannot escape uh, as, as you guys are trying to hand <laughs> between yourselves. Uh, as um, as like Asher is still like watching you, um, out of like because right now Asher is a changeling normally but looks like one of the bushes from um, Annihilation. Uh, anyone who's like looking at them will see that like gnats and like bugs and start stuff start to come out of uh the like bushy body um and i'm going to use cloak of flies uh which <laughs> is a uh warlock thing that uh i am now just surrounded by five feet of like bugs and like wood mites and stuff that are just surrounding me uh i like back away <laughs> <laughs> disgusting I believe that uh, we probably aren't going to um, finish this interaction amicably, if I'm not mistaken. A fair prediction, I'd say. Uh, and I think I take one of my like long spidery, I, I imagine that my fingers end in like long spider legs as well. And I take one of them and slice open just a little bit of the cocoon to uh, free uh, Wilmer's face. Uh, and I'll, uh, sort of pat his face gently, uh, not, not as like, just to wake him up, not just like, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> hello, hello, hi, hey, I just grab, I grab and start shaking. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> I'm up. You're, you're ruining the atmosphere of my moment. Uh, uh, I say, now, look at me. Uh, you, you, uh, you don't look so good, Wilmer. I don't know if you've noticed, but you're currently trussed up. Your chest is made of wax. And honestly, very impressive. Very, uh, very impressive torso. But that said, uh, imp impressive mus muscular definition for one of your age. Uh, that said, <laughs> I can help you grow bigger. Look at me. Uh, and I sort of scuttle back and show how uncomfortably uh, jacked I am for a spider person. Uh, and say, uh, it's, it's like the Tommy Wiseau kind of jacked if you've ever seen him in the room. Where he's just like, uh. Uh, And I say, you have suffered greatly this day, as have your friends, but you, Wilmer, uh, you, and I scuttle back over, you have been given a wonderful opportunity. You see, I can make it so that you never suffer in this way again. <laughs> if you are willing to join my coven and become one of us, I can give you glorious shape-changing powers, natural armor, spider powers. You'll be able to climb all over, spin webs any size, catch thieves just like flies. <laughs> Look out! And then I strike a pose. <laughs> I'm assuming this isn't subtle, so we would be hearing this. Everyone would hear this. <laughs> There's a spotlight shining directly on me. Yeah. This monologue. yeah. You <laughs> like look up and you see like two were spiders with like six of their arms doing uh, activating these spotlights to like be a follow spot on Arachne with like <laughs> different glow gels uh, so that they can keep the show lively. <laughs> There's another one like with a headset. Try, like it has like a, like a flipboard. Go for calling. 52. Yeah. yeah. yeah just pointing. Bunch of them dressed all in black, just moving stuff oh. around. Yeah. yeah. The spiders are already black, but for some reason they're also wearing, yeah. wearing like pants yeah. and turtlenecks. Holding coffee cups in six of the arms. Uh. <laughs> oh my God. 
Um, uh, I would, would I be able to go home? Uh, well, I assure, I'm sure you could arrange a visit. <laughs> uh, you probably wouldn't be able to live there anymore. You see, you would be part of the coven and like a little fanfare plays and a little- A kick line. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> of spiders comes out. <laughs> uh, I say, I have much bigger plans for the Revelia, and together, you and I can do amazing things. <laughs> we can cover the whole land in webs, create a, a, a kick line, the likes of which the world has never seen. Look, you can all see the, like, the spiders that are kicking are all kicking with four of their legs at a time. Just, <laughs> just think of the legs. How many legs could we have kicking at once? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to message Wilmer. Don't trust him. Uh, God? <laughs> <laughs> Wilmer um, starts speaking out loud to God in front of you, Arachne. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am, Wilmer. No, yes, I am. <laughs> Listen to you me. Have my, you have my full attention. Listen to what? my voice. What say you, uh, Wilmer? What say you? Um... Well, uh, Mr. Arachne, your uh, proposal sounds mighty fine, and I'm sure a beautiful kick line would be great, but I, um, I'm, I'm really missing my sister, and um, I don't, I don't uh, think I could, could join your coven, because I would miss her too much. But, but Wilmer, we could go and bring your sister here. She could join the coven too. In fact, and I dramatically sweep uh, my humanoid arm as well as four of my spider arms as another a huge spotlight shines down on the group. Any of you who wish are welcome to join my coven. <laughs> Steve, find your light. Find your light, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> And players. I'm, I'm so offended that a <laughs> would be out of her life. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I, you know what? No, I don't go into. I don't go into your. The, I pick oh. something up off the floor and I magically tinker it so that it gives me its own light. Refuse to go into your light. Uh, players, the, the I do want. The headset is so upset. Oh yes, <laughs> I want I you to be. We have additional light I'm touching it. someone else's props. <laughs> <laughs> stage manager quite upset um i do want you to be aware of what is being offered to you so you would gain a plus two to your ac up to a maximum of 18 shape change abilities as an action i already have it uh ignore difficult terrain gain a climb speed of 40 be able to cast that. the spell web at will um and other spidery abilities that i will not reveal um, that may come up during the episode. <laughs> Honestly, I already have over half of those things, so... Well, la-dee-da. <laughs> um, what about the rest of you? I think Asher has gone, like, uncomfortably still now as just, like, beetles and stuff are just, like, crawling <laughs> and flying around. Uh, but it's kind of gonna, like come to and look over at Borba and just like yeah. look look at your reaction. Borba is very conflicted because she doesn't trust this dude. But also the more powers we have to mess up Hecna, the better. I'm gonna kinda like try to whisper to the group and be like what are we thinking? We could just say yes and then not. Like, we could just pretend that we're going along and then totally screw him over. I don't know. What's the catch? The catch? There is no catch. You would be part of my coven. We would be a team together. Inside. Do we retain free will? <laughs> uh, I think I, as, you, as you see this, like, Fine, free. <laughs> <laughs> you hesitated far too long and to even want to define that. As this uh, discussion is happening, one the uh, stage manager 
<laughs> spider uh, <laughs> begins to descend. And she says, I'm so sorry, I have to cut the show um, just for a moment. And you see she has a, a beautiful, long, wiry red head of hair. And she's sort of got like a very strong, stocky build under her black turtleneck. And this NPC was provided by Patrick Byrne for backing our Indiegogo. Um, mm -hmm. And she says, Zigmil here. I thought long and hard about joining Arachne. And I'm positive it was the right decision. Maybe you should reconsider? Um. I'm just saying, don't make your decisions too quickly. Yeah, that makes me want to act quickly. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna, I wanna incite both of these people to be like, are they gonna fuck? If we take it, are we fucked? Like, I just wanna know. Like. <laughs> yes, go ahead, Borba, and roll insight. Uh, that is a 17. With a 17, I'll let Arachne um, explain what uh, Borba's getting a feel of from your message. Um, I think, uh, Arachne has control over, uh, I think, his coven to a degree, but it's not like, um, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Char, but it's more of like a, I could communicate instantly throughout the coven. And it's like, we are all uh, connected. Uh, and so theoretically you could do what you, like it, I wouldn't be marionetting you but you would be, I, I would be the leader. It would be like very much, I am the hierarchy, I'm the, the top of the hierarchy, the top of the web pyramid, so to speak. <laughs> uh, it's an MLM? You, Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you just have 30 minutes, I have a full presentation, pull out a tray, uh, the, the whole display. No, the, um, it would be, yeah, it would be like not, it wouldn't be like any kind of enslavement, anything like that. It would so be- You wouldn't have actual control over us. If we were like, nah, F you and went after you, you couldn't technically stop us. Is the vibe. Uh, ex yes, except with like the other spiders who are loyal to me. Who are like, me. stop it. <laughs> yeah, and like the other, yeah, and my own powers. So uh, but nothing, I don't think I can okay. force you. I don't think okay. I can actually force you. Uh, but I think there's also the implication that like, you probably wouldn't want to. I mean, <laughs> you look at this wear spot, these people are like, they seem yeah. like they're into it. They're having a good time. Uh, they're all like, one, uh, like doing the check. Singular <laughs> sensation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gold top hats and everything. I have a question for the DM. Yes. Uh, so you said that there's like, uh, encased dead people all in the room, right? Oh yes, it's a horrifying area <laughs> that you're uh, in right now. Are there any near me? Um, are you near any of the walls? Uh, yeah, I feel like um, I could be. <laughs> if you, I would say you'd have to like walk over to yeah, him. Like, everyone's be been sort of like approaching Arachne as he's been descending in the center of the tent. So yeah, my idea is that I'm gonna kind of like do that thing that like while we're talking, I'm gonna start moving in a way that's like I'm clearly Casual. monologuing. The camera's gonna start following me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Another wear spider's like, oh shit, and they move yeah. the light to follow um, you. And as I like. My feet have kind of like started to root a little bit in the ground. I'm gonna like pull them up, um, and I'm gonna walk towards one of the corpses, and I'm gonna look at Arachne. Uh, and while I'm talking, this is gonna take a minute. I'm gonna begin <laughs> casting Animate Dead. Uh, so I'm gonna put my hand oh. on the corpse and kind of just like start infusing roots into the body uh, to like create this this more or less marionette, but almost like a Iron Man shell of roots to animate this corpse. Um, and I'm gonna look up at- What uh, components are in this spell? None, cause it's another invocation. Oh, okay. Mm, uh, um, so you're still casting it, I will say. Yeah, that so 100% can... it's noticeable, but I'm trying to make it look like it's not what Yeah, I'm so doing. let's do like your- would you like to do deception? Would you like to do sleight of hand? This is a deception for dang sure. Okay, go ahead and roll deception. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, that's a 21. Nice, and um, Arachne, go ahead and roll an insight as the scene is progressing. All right. 
Um, insight. Okay, I got a 17. Ooh. Uh, Not so I'm gonna enough. look up and as I might, I just place my hand almost like gently and um, comfortingly, I say, now the people within these cocoons, I imagine are the ones that turned down your offer. Uh, regrettably, yes. But you see, we do need counterweights. This is a working theater. <laughs> <laughs> um, and is this a expectation of ours that if we are to join your coven, that we must acquire more food for you? Uh, well, not just for me. It's for all of us. Uh, and six more spiders just, ha ha! So <laughs> we're expected to also consume Interesting. All right. Um, the spiders are singing food, glorious food. When <laughs> uh, another group has started, has launched into consider yourself at home. Um, God. Can I please send Bobbin up to where uh, Wilmer is? Yes, you may. Um, just ready to cut him loose if necessary. Uh, and also, if necessary, <laughs> um, I would like to ready um, casting web to catch Wilmer. Mm. All if necessary. <laughs> can I can I see this happening? Uh, yes. So let's do a stealth check for Bobbin. Bobbin has, is proficient in stealth. Which means, hold up, I have to like do the math myself because I just have level one for him. <laughs> um, which means plus six in stealth, my sweet, sweet Bobbin. Hey, but that's a crit fail. Oh, oh. God damn it, this dumbass little spider! <laughs> <laughs> you are incredibly aware, Arachne. This glistening spider sticks out uh, amongst the black and gray of the webs and your coven. Ooh, can I swing down and scoop scoop him up? Yes, you may. <laughs> <laughs> and cup cup this mechanical spider gently in my hands. Uh, and I I look down uh, and I say, Little kinfolk, why have you turned against me? I who should be your friend, your master. We could be together. And then I start singing Castle in a Cloud. Uh, just like in, like a, in a weird falsetto as I like stare off into the middle distance as and I pet uh, Bobbin. Uh, and can I can I attempt to like befriend Bobbin? Yes, please roll Persuasion with advantage. <laughs> okay. What can I roll for Bobbin? <laughs> uh, Bobbin oh will roll Insight. Just gonna steal your little robot. <laughs> Okay. Uh, what, hold up. Insight is insight's wisdom. God damn it, Bobbin has no wisdom. <laughs> uh, it's a seventeen. <laughs> oh boy. God damn! I rolled a six. <laughs> oh! You now own a homunculus. <laughs> uh, this is Steve's creation. Um, mm -hmm. but Bobbin hesitates uh, and doesn't actively try to escape your grasp, Arachne. Uh. I'll look down and nod as I finish the song and say, thank you for your understanding, little one. Be free. And I set, I set them down onto the web uh, very gently. And I say, you see, we are a family here, looking at everyone else. And I say, why wouldn't you want to join? I realize you just sang to a machine, right? <laughs> yes, I sang to everyone. It was very Another pretty. one of the perks. Oh, thank you, thank you. I've been working a lot on the falsetto. You should hear my bring him home. <laughs> <laughs> um, while this is happening, I want to see if I can make eye contact with uh, Dr. Stella, who is with us, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Dr. Stella okay. is currently holding a leashed Eddie, a giant lizard. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's here. Yeah, miraculously hey, have made it through that entire Feywild extreme without <laughs> breaking a sweat. <laughs> Eddie's a buff boy. Uh, I just want to, I kind of want to just give uh, Dr. Stella a quick glance and try to make eye contact to see if I can gauge anything from her reaction to this offer. 
Uh, you Since she's been in Revealia longer, I'm wondering, it's like... Yeah, yeah you look at oh. Stella, and Dr. Stella is uh, quickly fashioning a potion on the floor. Um, and doesn't seem to have attention um, to you, to your gaze, Borba. Okay. A potion, though, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, I think at this point, Arachne, uh, realizing, like, getting a signal from the stage manager that the band has fully reached the end of their repertoire uh, for, like, this part yeah. of the We're just going to start vamping again. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah just waiting. Uh, I'll, look at, I'll look at the party and say, so, I've made my offer. What say you? It's time to decide. Will you join me or will you die? Uh, when I've finished Animate Dead, it takes one minute. <laughs> um, those songs, I feel like you I feel like you would have. Like you would have. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna mentally tell the zombie that's now in here uh, to hang tight until I need it, um, and just. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Um, I also realize it's still wrapped up, so I might also cast Mage Hand to try to start unwrapping it. Um, just again, subtly behind my back while looking at Arachne. Um, speaking for myself, um, I have unfortunately made a deal already. One that, hmm, one that prevents me from making another. I do not speak for my allies, but unfortunately I will have to deny you this request. So that's one mark for death. What about the other three? <laughs> um, I don't share the spotlight, <laughs> darling. I, uh, we don't have room for stars here. <laughs> Two. Um, I, I can't, I can't live here. My, my sister needs me, and my, my, I, I need to go home. So uh, you can kill me too. <laughs> That's three down Thank for kill. Thank you for your consent. Three. <laughs> <laughs> I think Borba's gonna look around the room and then just stare right back at her acne, grab her axe, and go, fuck it, and it's gonna light on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> then the end of the Matrix starts playing. <laughs> and I'm gonna need everyone to roll initiative. <laughs> Man, I wish I had Rage Against the Machine prepped. <laughs> So seven. You have a yeah. plus six. Yeah. Holy cow! Yeah. Alert thing. thing. Yeah. yeah uh, the alert Steve, thing. what did you get? Thirteen. Thirteen. I saw that in chat. Thank you. And Asher. I also got a thirteen with plus three decks. I think uh, plus four decks. Ha -ha. Nice. All right. So Steve is fourteen. Asher is thirteen. And Arachne, my dear. Arachne is 19. She is. Oh, yep. Of course. <laughs> Which means, Wilmer, you are first in the initiative. What would you like to do? Um, taking from Borba's bucket, I think I am getting the buy. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will. Um, how, how close are we right now, Arachne? Um, I had scuttled over, da like, most of the way down to interact uh, with uh, Bobbin, mm -hmm. so I'm still kind of down there, just oh, <laughs> at, like, the back of the room. It's probably, like, 40 Perfect. feet away, because you're at the top of the ceiling. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to start by firebolting you, can trip, <laughs> meta magic. Quickened action, and that's a 14 to hit. Uh, that does not hit. Yep. So, um, <laughs> because of my magic monocle, I'm gonna look through it. I'm gonna look at my friends. I'm gonna teleport down there. Um, that's the astral shard. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. How far do you teleport? Oh, that's a good. 30 feet. Question. See, you might you might not make it to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Superhero pose! Shoop-boop! Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm 
<laughs> yeah, uh, 30 feet. So I guess right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, please make a deck save as you fall the remaining 10 feet. How f- close am I? Because I could try to catch, but I don't know how close you are. <laughs> um, how have you been moving because, like, forward with it? everyone, Borba? I think I tried to stay with the group. Okay, so. sure. But I'll allow you I to mean, make a deck just, save I know, too. I know Asher did went on. Yeah, I kind of went, went off to the side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I was definitely near Steve yeah. and Dr. Stella. Go ahead, Five. Borba. Deck save. Let's and Wilmer, see. what did you get? I got a twelve. Okay. Uh, Eighteen. Oh yeah. Like a cute little baby in a cradle of Barbara's arms. <laughs> Aww. Welcome back, bud. And I put you down. <laughs> Give you a nice pat on the back. <laughs> As I turn around and I will uh, fireball Arachne. All fireball right. Fireballs or fireball? Fireball. <laughs> oh, that's, I will that's a different thing. I will not you to a Arachne full crisp. Arachnid crisp? Arachnid crisp. Spider crisp. You tried. Oh um, I will <laughs> say, <laughs> some of you are in the center, and Arachne's off to the side. Mm-hmm. And the radius of fireball is. Yeah, that's true. 20 feet, right? 20 so foot. Yeah, 40 20 foot feet. diameter. Not cute. The sphere. Yeah. yeah. So I think diameter. you'd be able to just make it um, with yeah. where everyone else was. All right. Good to go. Good to uh, go. What's 20, your. 23. Oh my save. god. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, you hey, remember the before the stream when we were like, well, is a spider dexterous? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's yes. I think I think Bye. we can safely say it's dexterous. So, um, that's not that much damage. You're taking half of 27. So that is uh 14. 14 fire. 14 fire. Anything All else right. on your turn, Wilmer? Nope. Which means... Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm, yes. gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look at uh, Arachne's slightly crisp torso and be like, wasn't my performance fire? <laughs> <laughs> we I are thought... not authorized to have open flames in the theater. <laughs> you need well... to respect where you are. <laughs> you have candles in all of these bodies. I am sorry. <laughs> They're electric. I thought it was a They're electric candles. <laughs> Very convincing. We spent a lot in the budget on for electric candles. We do this safely or not at all. The zombie has like closed its mouth and its like skin glows with the oh. battery flame. <laughs> so um, uh, also, Arachne. You, I was going to say, do you want me to roll initiative for the zombie or just have it go? It'll go when you all go. Right. Uh, Arachne, it is both the end of Wilmer's turn and also would be initiative 20. Ooh, okay. All right. So the first things, uh, the first thing that I think I would like to do is, um, as my legendary action, I would like to cast the spell web, uh, and in retaliation, I'd like to cast it. Let me see what the radius is for this spell really quickly. 20 the cube. It's a 20 foot cube. How many of them can I get in there? You can get uh, Borba, (laughs) Wilmer, and Steve all together. Ooh, Asher just makes it out. (laughs) That's what I'm going for then. Go for it, please. Uh, Uh, Is it a deck save they have to make? uh, I believe so, yes. Uh, It is a deck save, yeah. All right. God damn it. 16. Uh, 19. Um, uh, thirteen. I don't know if it lists it. Is is it? Does it list it here? I'm looking on the character sheet where my save is. D Beyond. Uh, um, I think your spell n- save is eight. Oh no, I think it's fourteen. Is is it eighteen? For for the, your legendary web. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh oh no. dang. Eighteen. Anybody who didn't get an eighteen, then uh, Arachne has Arachne started tap dancing when uh, when Wilmer blasted the fireball to try and like dodge it, and then with uh. <laughs> With his eight legs, like flinging up sw- uh, strings and just like weaving them in your general direction, uh, it becomes like a full, beautiful net that like covers uh, whoever did not manage to hit an eighteen. I would like to imagine because my axe is on fire and I pass the save that I'm just like 
dexterly oh, like no! hitting all of the web and made a hole around <laughs> it just to be like, okay, I'm not in it. Cool. <laughs> Uh, and then at initiative 20, um, we hit the lair actions. We do. We find the lair actions really quickly. Um, yeah. Is it going to fuck us up, though, if webs are flammable with Orba's axe? <laughs> uh, it will. You'll be in flaming web. Um, yeah. Actually, spider webs uh, have turn. a lot of moisture on them when they immediately come out of the thorax. Listen, I don't <laughs> have to tell you that it literally says in the spell that the web is flammable. Yeah. Vulnerability. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> well, it was on fire. It was probably going to hit it anyway. So my action, my, my deck save action still stands. <laughs> All I right, lair like, action. I would like to, as I'm dancing, uh, tap dancing on the web, uh, stop and give a little... And have two uh, two more spiders in full tap shoes, tap outfits. Uh, they start doing the dance from uh, the o the opening dance from um, uh, chorus line, where it's God. I hope I get it. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, All right. And they come down to join the fight. And I just rolled for them. They're gonna act on initiative twelve, which means that Arachne, it is now your turn. Oh boy. Okay, so um, I would like to attack. Let's see. I would like to use Web Whip uh, against uh, against Wilmer because Wilmer Wilmer's currently restrained, right? Yes. Okay. Then I would like to uh, pull up one of the uh, pull up like a sort of web bola, swing it saucily, and then. <laughs> like just sling it over there uh, at Wilmer, which I believe I have advantage on. Yes. Because, yes. because of restraint. Yes. Okay. So that's going to be a 26 to hit. <laughs> that will hit. Awesome. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see here. That's going to be nine points of slashing damage. Uh, and I can also, if the the target is a creature, I can pull it up to 15 feet in a straight line towards me. So I'm gonna, and then pull. Would that, would that, would that cancel restraint or would Wilmer still be restrained? Uh, Wilmer is currently stuck together with the web. So I would say still restrained as he is pulled. Okay, then I would like to pull him 15 feet closer to me. You and then something. I would like to use my movement to climb farther up the side of the web, use my full 40 feet to climb up Ooh. to the ceiling uh, where I continue dancing. Is Wilmer <laughs> hanging down below you or in your ar some of your arms? Um, I would, l oh, I'd love to do like um, a <laughs> Phantom of the Opera uh, where, um, doesn't the Phantom like carry Christine towards the end of that? Oh yeah. Uh, am I, yeah, I'd like to just do like with two of my arms holding Wilmer. <laughs> As I like dramatically climb up. Uh, Keep Wilmer within five feet of you. Good idea. <laughs> uh, anything uh, yep, else on your that, turn? That's my turn? Okay. That's the end of my turn. Which means that we are at Steve. It is your turn. Excellent. Um, I'm going to. Bless you. Thanks. I, oh wait, I'm restrained. Hold up. So can I even do anything? Hold up. <laughs> you still can do things. You just cannot move. Your, spe your speed is zero. Um, oh, and you if, have if disadvantage it, on attacks. I have to take damage though as well if the webs are on fire, right? Yes. Um, I would. I said that they'll catch on fire at Borba's turn, which okay. has not yet cool, happened. Cool, 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 cool. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Cool. All right. Um, hey, I'm going to do a catapult. At if there is there something near me that I can grab to catapult? A corpse. Um, yes, there <laughs> yeah. would definitely be these battery-operated candles at your feet um, and various Excellent. bones. <laughs> uh, it just has to be like I'm gonna cast it at second level, so it has to be less than ten pounds. So yeah, either or. Um, excellent. Um, so I will do that. Not the footlights. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wreck the theater. Wait, I rolled damage. Hold up. I Oh, wait, no, it's a dex to... It's a fucking dex. 
Why am I doing this? Uh, a, a deck save. Deck save for, uh, for, for Arachne? Arachne, yes. All right. Okay. It's a dirty 20. Oh, God. Fuck. Okay, so <laughs> still take half, I believe. I'm a failed save. Uh, fail, uh, no. Good save. Oh, my God. I haven't cast this in forever. Is this a save or suck one? Uh, the object is crashing. Do you want to see a dexterity saving throw? I think with catapult, if I dodge it, I don't take. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you hit it, get it at all then. Damn it! Well, as my second attack, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Pick no, up I'm another do object. No, 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 no. I wanna <laughs> do something that I can actually do. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do my needle and thread uh, ranged attack. Sure. Is, is catapult a spell it that you cast? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I would just, you can do two attacks, but you can only, you only have one action. So it's either two attacks or it's casting a spell. Oh, I don't know how this works. Never mind then, forget about that. <laughs> New attack, um, who this? Yeah, no problem, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> uh, but as a bonus action, I'm going to spiritual weapon. <laughs> yes, there yes. you go. That you can do. Uh, but I rolled the crit fail, so never mind. It all sucks. <laughs> so oh. sword, like, appears, like a weapon appears next to me and tries to attack me. Yep, they're, they're scissors. They like fly through the air. Oh. They do nothing, apparently. Fine. Uh, <laughs> this time. Can I start doing like, is has there been an Edward Scissorhead musical? Because I feel like there should be. Oh God, doing, there needs like, to be. Can I grab them and start like, it's just pretending the one from I'm the office. Edward Scissorhands <laughs> musical? <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> Anything else on your turn, Steve? Did you want to move anywhere? Uh, oh, you are zero, uh, restrained the by the web. Yep. That is right. All right, which means that we are up to Asher. What would you like to do? All right, so my uh, Ooh, tree. Wait, I have, I oh, have, yes, uh, legendary. God damn it. Would like. <laughs> Thank you I for would reminding like me. To uh, use, uh, I would like to grab Steve, or excuse me, not Steve, Wilmer, uh, yeah. and say, you should have joined me. You had the chance, but it's okay. I can still dance. Uh, and I would like to uh, grow like a pair of mandibles out of the sides of my face, uh, click them together, and then <laughs> bite into Wilmer's waxy torso <laughs> with Bloodsucker, uh, which drains some health. Do I have to make an attack roll? Uh, yes, you would. Ooh, okay. okay. Uh, so I have advantage on the attack. Uh, you should cut loose. Cut yeah. loose. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Please. Kick off my spider shoes. Uh, I believe that's going to be a 21. Hit. That hits. Damn. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, only four damage, which reduces okay. your max HP. Oh, okay. By four. And I believe you Perfect. heal for two? Yes. All right. So I heal for two. I. It's the wax really clogs up uh, mm, my spidery yeah. mouth parts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, this is not as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> I definitely should have grabbed someone else. Asher, now it is your turn. <laughs> uh, so uh, my mage hand is still trying to get the zombie out of the uh, web. And I'm just going to, as my bonus action, uh, mentally tell the zombie, um, uh, now is your time for revenge. Fight, attack anything that looks like a spider. Uh, and then I'm going to... Slowly start walking towards Dr. Stella because I have 20 feet of movement right now. And I'm going to call out and say, Dr. Stella, <clears throat> I could um, use a restoration of sorts if you can at all manage. And I'm going to prepare my action. I'm going to start uh, growing a like phantom tree limb uh, out of the wall that's like slowly moving towards Arachne. And my held action is going to be to cast uh, Chill Touch when I'm not rolling disadvantage on the attack rolls. All right. If she can somehow get greater <laughs> restoration on me. Uh, and that's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, before I go, anything else for you, Arachne? Um, I think... Can I try... Uh, mm, you know, no, I'll wait. I'll wait. Nothing this time. Okay. I'm just going to keep... Yeah, I'm just waiting. Yeah. Uh, the two were spider acrobats 
uh, descend and tear off their black stage crew uh, ensemble outfits. And underneath are wearing glittering purple and yellow sparkly leotards ready for a show. Um, and they're going to rush over to you in like syncopation, Borba, and they are no. going to <laughs> attack you, my dear friend. Um, holding onto each other's shoulders, two lovely kicks each to the face. Uh, I just have to roll the hit. 27. Yeah. 22. Yep. <laughs> And 15. That one doesn't. Okay, so only two of the four attacks hit, which means that you take 18 bludgeoning damage to your face as um, a few of the spiderous feet collide with you. Cool. I had temp uh, HP. For, I don't remember who gave that to me, but that thanks. Me. <laughs> yeah. The like leaves Bigs. and shit kind of fall off of yeah. your clothes. This, so that was five <laughs> less damage than I could have taken. Nice. Oh. Um, at that point, it is the end of their turn. Arachne. Um, I, let's see. I think I'm going to go for another bloodsucker. I'm going to try and boost my HP back up as much as possible. <laughs> so All many right. legs. <laughs> HP! What the fuck? Uh, that's, a 20, yeah. that's another 22. That hits. Uh, yeah. Why do you think I want to use chill touch? <laughs> this time, it's five damage. So okay. it would reduce your HP by five. How much of that would I get back? Um, We always round up, so three. Three. Okay, cool. Don't like uh, it. Getting past some of the clogs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sucking. <laughs> Look, I don't like this either. It's, it's the spider thing. It's nothing oh, personal. Stop then. <laughs> it's like when you open a wine, but the cork fell in. So there's just like chunks oh, no. of wax and shit. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, as you approach Dr. Stella, she uh, will uh, get up to meet you, Asher. Uh, and she will touch the side of your shoulder and cast Greater Restoration on you to remove one level of exhaustion. Yes. Um, she will then, as her bonus action, continue working on the potion at her feet. Um, uh, I whisper, you'll probably want to move away as like wood mites are starting to land on her face and stuff. Because uh, uh, if she starts her turn five feet, near me she'll take damage oh um i didn't realize that sure yeah uh and she like scoots her butt on the floor <laughs> just five feet, just five feet away perfect <laughs> uh with and then that... i will use my chill touch oh yes you're able to now Go uh, for it. now i don't roll with disadvantage so the tree like forming out of the ceiling the like hand very much looking like the poltergeist tree uh is mm -hmm. going to attempt to grab you does a 20 hit it do, it do. So that is blah, 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 15 points of necrotic, and you can't heal until my turn. Uh, as oh the tree boy. just like grabs you and is like trying to pull your face off of Wilmer. <laughs> ow, 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 watch the mandibles. Watch the mandibles, watch the mandibles. <laughs> ow, my face is my job. My face is my job. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else on your, oh, that was your uh, was held my, action. Yeah. Which means it's the end of Asher's turn, if you'd like to do anything, Arachne. Or have you done three? I've already done three. All right. Which means uh, at initiative 10, you hear in your brain, Arachne, a message coming from your coven that an army of marionettes has descended upon the Big Top's main entrance. Uh, they need assistance now. Oh, boy. Um, I... I... Oh man, I'm I'm kind of in the middle of something. We, 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 I have to, I told you I had this time blocked out in my schedule. This is very inconvenient. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Sorry, did you need to take a call? We can wait. <laughs> I was. I need to take a call. It would Go just ahead. be great. It's good. It would be great if we could take five. Just a quick, <laughs> quick five. Um, look. Uh, I think about it and I say, you know what? No, the show must go on. I, I like message. Are you backwards. sure? You know, unions and stuff. You need to make sure you're getting your proper lunch breaks in and stuff. 
<laughs> Shh, don't you lecture me on regulations. I'm an equity member. <laughs> I like pull out a card. Uh, I, I, I want to message back to the spiders saying, look, I will be there as soon as possible. I, I know it doesn't seem like it, but everything I'm doing only takes six seconds. So I should be there <laughs> really soon. It shouldn't be. I just feel it's like it's stretched. It's theater. It's suspension of disbelief. Uh, uh, but I'll be there as quickly as possible. You all in the room hear uh, the sounds of mandibles clicking in nervousness as many of Arachne's uh, crew seem to be on edge. Hmm. Um, and Excellent. with that, Borba, it is your turn. All right. And I will I'm first gonna... say oh. that you are on fire in your web. Yeah, and so I'm is like, e. <laughs> I would like to take uh, a second. I think what I'm going to do is actually, I guess this would probably be an action to try to break a hole through the web so that they could escape. Um, if you attack the web, it is, uh, you know that it is vulnerable to fire damage. No, I'm not trying to attack it with my axe. I'm trying to, like, use my hands to, like, pull Sure, it open. yeah, you can make a strength check. Okay. I will do. DC 14. Well, we're gonna go ahead and give you a 23. How's that? Ooh, uh, very good. Right. Uh, you're able to rip and tear through the web. Cool. But also, I will back? say, both Steve and Borba, you do take two points of fire damage. OK. OK. Um, I will uh, then rage. Yes, please. First of all. Uh, and I will turn around. I'm assuming that strength check was indeed my action. Question uh, yes, to yeah. break free of the web. OK. So then that was my bonus action. So now can I just do like, I just want to like yell at them. Because I would, I'm wondering, Free can action I do... to yell, always. Okay, I'm like, <laughs> I'm in, in rage now, and I'm just like, if you guys aren't careful, I'll say the M word in your theater. And I want to see oh. if that'll, like, intimidate them enough to, like, <laughs> not attack us. <laughs> Please, uh, oh roll God. intimidation with advantage Heck for this yeah, themed I'm... threat. You wouldn't. <laughs> Uh, that's Steve only a 14. No idea. <laughs> 14, Barba? Yeah. All right. Um, some of them do look a little bit frightened of you. Others Good. don't seem yeah. affected. Okay, cool. I'm like, I'll do it. I'll do it. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a superstitious type. I swear to God, I'll do it. <laughs> and I'll wish you good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I said some of the spiders to start running around the theater like three times, just yeah. as like a precautionary measure. <laughs> One of them accidentally runs under a ladder and then just goes, chit, chit, chit. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The stage manager is beside themselves. Just yeah. like, oh my God. <laughs> as the spiders erupt in a cacophony <laughs> of um, superstitious Hitter patter, we are going to take our break. <gasps> and we will see you in a quick 10. BRB. BRB. Bye. I've been working on my Steve cosplay and I found the perfect piece to finish it off at the costume shop. They have wigs, costumes, contacts, and they even have a cosplay section on their website for people just like me. Head on over to thecostumeshop.com forward slash question mark R-E-F equal sign tabletop titties to get started. That's T-H-E-C-O-S-T-U-M-E-S-H-O-P-P-E dot -E Com, spelled ye old way. Make sure to use the code tabletop titties with double D's to get yourself $10 off at checkout. Maybe I should make a image in white cosplay next. Elevate your look with Monday May's handcrafted beaded jewelry. Monday May Jewelry is an Afro-Indigenous jewelry brand that creates heirloom pieces for collectors who are excited to incorporate rich culture with sustainable slow fashion. Each of their timeless beaded pieces are 100% handcrafted, sustainably made, and unique. Match the minimalist danglers or the everyday fringe earrings with anything in your wardrobe, or really sparkle with a pair of statement earrings from the Legacy Collection. Celebrate culture and celebrate joy at mondaymayjewelry.com. Hello, we are back. 
and we are at the top of initiative, which means Wilmer, with your nat 20, you are next. What would you like to do as you are currently restrained, being held by Arachne up in the air? Perfect. So I have a question about kind of restrained. So um, <laughs> it says that attacks have disadvantage that I make. Mm -hmm. But my question is, what about spells? If a spell has a somatic use, I feel like mm -hmm. you would have to like roll a check to be able to move your hands in the right way, <laughs> is what I would say. Okay. I like also, a dex or strength check. I looked this up yeah. as well because of exhaustion. A spell attack still is at disadvantage, but anything that they save mm -hmm. against, you, it doesn't affect you. Okay, because it is, it is, I am, it, it's, um, <laughs> I want to <laughs> blast him with some darts. Imagine this. Go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Like that doesn't. Somatic. So. Okay. That's like why I was asking. Yes. Okay. So, um, oh, but what did you just say, Kelly? You said that if uh, it doesn't have an attack roll, it doesn't affect them? Uh, that was for exhaust. If the restraint says that it is disadvantaged on attacks, but yeah. not that they can't do somatic spells. I mean, it's up to you. you you're the DM. Yeah, but you're still like, yeah. you're literally restrained in web. So I would say that you do have to do a check to be able to move your hands. Um, but it's just going to be a DC 12, either dex or strength. Um, You know it's going to be strength. <laughs> Beefy Wilmer, go. <laughs> Sorry, dex. You know what I mean. Um, <laughs> oh, not 20. Holy oh, jeez. Oh, uh, Wilmer, Beef you boy. break from the web entirely, you are um, able to, I'll say you can still like hold on to Arachne so you don't take fall damage yeah, yeah. or anything. I'm not gonna damage you on your nat 20, but you are no longer restrained. Uh, does that change what you would like to do? No. All right, go for it. Um, I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna blast him full of darts. And what I'm gonna say while I do it is, <clears throat> I may not be an actor, but I always hit my mark. And then you just see a <laughs> bunch of like darts with like the little feather backs just pinprick into you. And oh. hold while I roll all the damage things. Is it's it just <laughs> is it just an automatic hit? It's just it is magic, hit, magic missile. Oh, magic missile. Yeah. Oh. I can't read what you wrote. Such a Kelly. flair for I wrote dramatic. seven. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to join? <laughs> um, I'm just gonna roll them all together because it's six darts. So it is um, 19 plus six, which is 25. 25 force damage. Force damage. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> and um, while we're at it, we are going to bonus action. Um, we will sword first. So that means Ooh. you need to make a dex save. DC 17. Okay. Got a 16. Ooh, all right, let me roll this damage here. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Don't look at that. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, hold. <laughs> hold, like, how do I make this go away? My computer's telling me what the weather is. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, computer, please! We don't want to know. I don't care what the weather is. <laughs> um, that is 12. Um, I think this is force as well. Ooh. Yeah. So much force. Ah, oh. forceful. <laughs> so much stage I'm presence. a force to be reckoned with. Oh my god. Oh, such wit. Really, you, you have such a future in the theater, young man. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm gonna roll my one. Don't encourage him. Search, <laughs> which passes again. Um, but I will say that you used your ability last session. Yeah. Uh, that lets me make you roll on that wild magic table. <laughs> and I'm gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> I like, wasn't sure if you remembered or not. <laughs> ha -ha! Dungeon goddess. <laughs> oh my God. Please inform I'm me so what excited. you roll. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, that's an so 89, scared. which means oh, you become invisible for the next minute. Oh. During that time, other creatures can't hear you, and the invisibility ends if you attack or cast a spell. So it's basically going to last this round. Ooh, invisible. Baby. That's a good one. 
You are still uh, currently holding on to arachne. Yeah, is that correct? Okay. <laughs> 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 he knows exactly yeah, where you are. Like, like, what? Um, like, what the fuck? Even I... stage effects. <laughs> <laughs> is this just? Am I the only one who's seeing this? <laughs> well, I guess don't none of us are seeing don't it. See still. It. <laughs> um, can I? grab onto a wall so I'm not physically touching um, the thing that just bit me twice. Uh, currently, Arachne, I believe, is floating in midair. Is that correct? On your web? Yeah. 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 All right. You can let go <laughs> and fall. <laughs> I will continue to dangle, Shara. Thank you very Are much. Are you sure? <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll dangle. It might be a poor decision, but I'm, I'm embracing it. All right. <laughs> Uh, which means that we are at both the end of Wilmer's turn and initiative 20. Okay, so who? Uh, I think at this point, um, I am going to, uh, for initiative 20, I'm gonna have it be that the the stage manager is so freaked out that like, just pointing to all of the different spiders, they're gonna all point a spotlight uh, directly at Borba. Uh, just it's really bright. Oh my god. You are so brightly illuminated. Uh, you are blinded. No! Uh, while, while in the spotlight, and it follows you until initiative count 20 of the next round. While in the spotlight, you are blinded, and you will take 2d6 radiant damage at the start of your next turn. No, I'm just looking at things. For some reason, I don't know what feat this is, but it gives me advantage on dex effects that I can see while not blinded. Oh, never mind. Well, I can... well, now that I am blinded. Oh. It doesn't matter. Like, is there anything that I can do to not be blinded? Oh, but no. Sadness. Not. I'm like, what is this? This might help. Nope, it's too late. All right. Oh. All right. This is fine. I'm just here, like, blind. Um, I think you got uh, blinded. I think, oh, goodness. Uh, this isn't one of my lyrics. This is one of my legendary actions. But can I just try and like throw the invisible person off of me? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you may. Uh, like a, I'm just kicking with my legs. Just, <laughs> ah, ah. Uh, can I? Uh, yeah. I. I. What would that be? Would that be an attack roll? Um. Let's do. Yes. Let's do an. Well, the, Wilmer's actively holding on to you, so maybe let's do a strength check. If you can kick hard enough. Uh, he'll okay. go flying. DC uh, 15. Contested or? Okay. Yes, let's do a DC instead DC of 15. <laughs> making me roll. I don't again. know why I gave your waxen this... chest a DC of 15 to hold yeah. on, but somehow that's what I decided. Is this athletics? Yes. This would be athletics. Okay. Okay. Shout out to the two crew. That's going to be an eight. Ooh, oh, unable to remove this not invisible creature. Enough. Okay, I think I'm starting to feel I've been battered, I've been bruised. Uh, at first, I was afraid. <laughs> uh, I, I start to think, uh, like, oh no, I could hear like the walls closing in. The 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 I'm probably am I still getting just lots of messages from the spiders as they're fighting. Uh, fighting Please off the send heat. assistance. <laughs> we need you. Okay. We need you. We need you. Oh man, I'm looking, they see, aside from the fact that they're exhausted, they're looking fresh as daisies. Uh, mm -hmm. like, oh boy, uh, now one of them's invisible and I can't <laughs> even hear him and he's hanging from me. It clearly is more theatrically talented than myself. I'm going to look, <laughs> I'm going to look down and say, stop in the name of love. Uh, and then say, please, please, I, I understand that we got off on the wrong feet, so to speak, all eight of them, but hear me out, okay? <laughs> Sweating profusely. Um, I, was, I was like, I, uh, you may not know this, but, uh, well, I, I am currently uh, having a little bit of a difficult time, you see. Uh, the I am, we're a family here, okay? I and the spiders were family, and some of my kinfolk are currently being attacked by a, by a marionette army. It's completely unrelated to anything that's happening here, and anything that any of you could have possibly been involved in. There is I mean, an isn't army. It, isn't it like 
kind of related to your spider people going out and attacking the townsfolk and stuff. I think maybe they have it coming. <clears throat> don't don't tempt me. Like I was, I was. You see that six <laughs> spiders had appeared with chairs, just as you said he had it coming. Just I'm like, no, <laughs> no, time, no, please. I walked right into that one. <laughs> Um, I can't really see you, but I know I hear chairs. I understand. <laughs> yeah, one of them just goes pop and you get smacked. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I say, please hear me out. I am willing to bargain in exchange for help. You see, we spiders, we have to eat. We have to feed. Equity rules demand that I provide <laughs> meals to my actors. I, it look, we got a, it's spider's got a spider, baby. Uh, <laughs> I feel like maybe you should take up these complaints with the head of operations here. Not us. We can't do anything about your lunch breaks or your, your having a food truck during intermission. We can't help with that. Uh, I'm looking around nervously and I, I'm, I'm going to say, did you know? that we don't even get dental on our plan, I have to provide it myself. I pay for dental for everyone here. And it's true, I see all the spiders. Uh, six months intervals, uh, uh, Dr. Stella, <laughs> the doctor says. Thank you so much, doctor. Why are you fighting me, by the way? This is, anyway, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That was like, thank God I, I, I dodged that bullet. <laughs> we'll settle it later. We'll settle it later. Uh, but he looks at the rest of you and says, please, I, though I don't seem it, or though I, I talk a big game here, but the fact is, I have no special love for Hecna. My love is the theater. And my kinfolk, we're a family here, see? Uh, and all the spiders, like, heads, they just, yeah. And their faces are popping out all over the place. Uh, I, like, motion at one of them up there. Starts playing a sad, starts playing, you know what it starts playing? The, uh, starts playing Sunrise Sunset on a violin, <laughs> like, on a fiddle. But just, like, a really sad version of it. And I say, please, right now, my spiders are engaged in a dire combat, and they are in desperate need of assistance. You have already proven yourselves capable of besting me. <laughs> Look at me. Uh, you can see that, like, uh, he's horribly singed, uh, very battered and bruised, <laughs> bruised, and one of his one of his legs appears to be bending a slightly, like one of the joints is bending the wrong way on uh -uh. one of the spider uh, legs. Do I believe uh, any of this? Yeah, permission to insight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would say that you would, I mean, the offer being made is please help me if attack the marionettes that are coming. And I think you all would know that the toy maker creates the marionettes and yeah. has probably sent these marionettes to assist you in some way. Um, I think the like, the chill touch that's still on Arachne kind of like pulses a little bit and a few like oh. uh, mites and stuff skitter along your face. Uh, and I look up and I say, uh, those marionettes that you speak of are ones that have agreed to assist us in our ultimate goal. It would be no problem of ours to convince them to stop if you joined us. Um... Ooh, okay. Revelations. <laughs> the band goes dun 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 dun. <laughs> this, this new news. Uh, I look down and say, um, so just so we're clear, if I join you, you will call off the marionettes, stop hurting my family, and I will then help you to put the squeeze on Hecna. Does that's that the, mean that's the murder? Plan? That's, yeah. But the ultimate squeeze. Right. The right. final squeeze. The final you... squeeze, one of my <laughs> Yeah, my drift. Because I like uh, flex and like, like kind of like use my axe as like a baseball bat. <laughs> like, you know, oh. we're about to give this guy a beating. Okay. I need to call my agent. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is under NDA, by the way. You can't. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay, I will. 
Uh, phone agent, calls. You see this another spider. A... Yeah, a spider comes in with like a little earpiece, uh, wearing like a really sleazy suit. Uh, skaters in. I start communicating to it in spider language, uh, gobbledygook, I guess, and uh, just talking back and forth. And say, right. Um, I suppose you you all don't. Do any of you speak gobbledygook? They do not. No. <laughs> right. Um. Mm -hmm. Char. Indeed. You just sent me a DM. Can I do a little more um, active investigation on the, on this? Yes, you may. I will say at disadvantage, uh, as no. this chair that you are noticing is currently covered in quite a bit of webs. 17. Uh, with a 17, that's still pretty high. Um, I would say parts of the chair do stick out from the webs, and it seems very familiar from the one that you were told about by Cicero. Oh. Do I notice her notice the chair? Um, roll deception, Steve? And we'll go against passive perception, or... Insight, whichever you would like. Oh, not great. I only rolled a six. Oh, you oh, notice. Definitely, you definitely noticed. With, what am I, with a couple of my eyes, just out of the corner of several what? of my eyes, uh, I notice and like, oh, oh, um, and I, at this point, I'm like, oh, I'm thinking to myself, oh, no, not the chair, not the chair. I turn back to my agent. <laughs> my agent is like, chair, like all eight, arms, <laughs> all eight arms, just like, oh, no. Uh, I turn back and I'm like, um, a, a bargain. I'm willing to strike a bargain. <laughs> you see, that chair, I motioned to the spider's spotlight, was something that I was saving for you. I am willing to give you this chair, this chair which Scooter and Hecna gave to me for safekeeping in exchange for you calling off the, the the marionette minions. We take the chair, we get out of here, and then we call off the marionettes. How's that sound? Uh, I really would rather the marionettes thing happen sooner rather than later, if possible. It's I mean, we can continue. Well, you know, I can also we... say the M word. That would also be <laughs> oh, no. fine for me. All the time in the world. Yeah. Um, uh, if, if, if I agree to join you in the fight against Hector, will you call them off immediately? I want that in writing. Uh, the with agent's signature? like... signature? You see my agent just sighs. <laughs> and <laughs> and the contract very quickly. Uh, I want a clause in there that you will not warn Hecna about any of our plans. You won't, like, I want to betray us like halfway through our journey towards Hecna or during the fight with Hecna or There is you no know. end date on this contract. It's indefinite. This is just like yeah. But betrayals are so dramatic. Yeah, we've had You're already of them. betraying Hecna, are you not? Uh so half of my legs point at you. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna think to myself uh, and say, you know, you do have a point. This could be a real Iago sort of thing, couldn't it? Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. I want to say for the record that Steve does not get that reference at all. Kind <laughs> of Asher. Asher. Asher is uh, doing that thing where they just pretend like. Like nodding that, every yes. time you make a reference and, and doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Arrakis getting, okay, okay, understand, yes. My people are dying right now. I am willing to join you in the fight against Hecna. I will not betray you. I will do it to the best of my ability. I will sign with all eight of my arms. Uh, and they, I, you see like, just signing all over this contract, the agent, uh, webs down quickly to you all and holds, uh, you have to sign it in, not in triplicate, but in octuplet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, the agent will pass it to you, Steve, as you are the leader of this uh, Calvocade conversation. Um, are you still hanging? Can I, can I like <laughs> yes. intelligence, to, intelligence to make sure that there are no like loopholes in this contract? Yeah, uh, read yes. it over like three times. Go ahead, please. Roll intelligence. <laughs> we don't have to pay Arachne royalties, do we? Yeah. 
Yeah, I was gonna be like seven. Fuck. Oh. Right down to we hold exclusive rights on the story. Um, I mean, you it's a, you don't notice anything out of the ordinary from what you've read, Steve. Um, shit. All right. Well. Okay. I, I wouldn't have any reason to go over it again, I guess. So I will sign. Can I? At the, at any point, can I roll an insight? Just I to, was gonna say the exact same thing. <laughs> just, yeah, just, just to I be sign like, it really slowly and leave all time for it. <laughs> to do see, things. Uh, uh, Steve yes. is about to do it. I just want to see if there's any like good facial expressions. Ooh, that's like a, any of them. <laughs> that's a ten. So this. <laughs> Listen, I don't go to the theater. Uh, I can't yeah. tell what a good performance is. Well, you're the only oh, one who's going to notice anything because I rolled We're a six. Oh, no. You're totally fucked. Yeah. Uh, the only person see. who fucking... I, I did land acknowledge. I was the one who settled land disputes. I was the contract master back home. <laughs> and I'm fucking... Don't say something, something Wilmer. I can't. None of you can hear me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Um, wait, hold up. Pause, though. Mm -hmm. Has it been, um... A full minute? I feel like we're in nebulous turn-round conversation yes. mode. Yes. It's still the second round. It's only been six <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I know. We're the talking so fast. It's a future. You just, uh, every time you move, you just hear the... Yeah. Oh, no, oh, Sarah. No, Sarah! Oh, oh, no, I've passed on my terrible oh. internet. Okay, you're good. Oh. Okay, there we go. You're He's, back. This what is did all you just say? an aside. We're oh. all looking at the audience right now, oh. talking for yeah. a while. Breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I was just saying that every time you gesture, you just feel Wilmer's invisible body just like swinging, <laughs> flailing <laughs> yeah. about. Yeah. Um. All right, I guess I'm signing it. Fuck. All right. Um, sign, is, sealed, delivered. Is she delivered. allowed to sign it on? Yeah, on behalf of everybody then. Uh, yeah, I would say on Marge's favorites. Okay. All of my, all eight of my eyes have been crying uh, out of desperation. He says, please, will you call them off? Please. I... Oh, we don't know how to do that. Did we not mention that? <laughs> Dr. Stella pipes up and says, oh, I can send uh, a sending message over to the, per and she hesitates, the person that sent the marionettes over. Excellent. That'd be wonderful. Also, um, I want to say as my in as a part of my innovator feat, I am memorizing um, this contract for the next 24 hours. Sure. Yes, that can totally yeah. happen. Thanks. Um, the, uh, yes, you will receive a copy of the contract. We will keep the original. That's just kind of how it is. Mm -hmm. So we All give right. you, yeah. Um, can I roll an insight on uh, Dr. Stella? To try yes, and figure out. you may. Because that was kind of that was that was sus. <laughs> um, it's a sixteen. Um, she got a four. Uh, so you can tell that she was indeed speaking the truth. But she was about to say. Who but like, I want to see like what was she, who is she talking about? Oh, That's what I'm uh, yes. So then you would definitely the who you them? would know uh, the toy maker sent. <gasps> She said, the I, and then stopped. <laughs> I murmured to myself, that bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and immediately begin formulating a plan of revenge, but I say, please, please, uh, Dr. Stella, please, please, as quickly as you can. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna message Stella casually as well. Be like, hey, if you wanna just tell them to like back off, but stay on standby. <laughs> <laughs> that would uh, be fabulous. <laughs> And Dr. Stella begins, um, she puts her potion down that she had been diligently working on um, and begins like writing in the thin air, very Lord Voldemort, Chamber of Secrets style, um, her sending spell, which is sent off very quickly. Um, and Arachne, you would get messages immediately almost from your coven outside. Uh, whispers overlapping of everyone speaking to you almost in unison as the things overlap, saying that the marionettes seem to have backed off. Oh, awesome. Um, can I have the band strike up uh, Age of Aquarius? Uh, <laughs> as, as I begin to like God. slowly lower myself. Oh, uh, thank God. <laughs> uh, uh, as I land, uh, I say, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I, I know that we've had our differences, but 
after a very spirited discussion, I'm glad that we were able to see eye to 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 eye. Also, what did you do with Wilmer? Where is he? I he don't know. Of... I can feel him. It's like he's it's like he's on me, but I don't know where he is. I he's feel incredible. Like right then you just kind of see him just kind of like rolling on the ground out from underneath his like costume and cloaks and stuff like Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was here all along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? How did he do it? How? I couldn't tell you. Uh if we're out of <laughs> initiative, I'll also tell my zombie to to stand down so that, <laughs> so that we're not just in the middle of conversation and a zombie it's starts like attacking It's like holding people. one of the acrobat's limbs ready to l bite down. Drop it. <laughs> Drop it. No. Hey, hey, hey. Drop I it. Do... Okay, it does. The budget is already stretched. I do not have enough to pay for workers' comp. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we cannot afford another injury. <laughs> we Honestly, did. We yeah. tried... We tried Spider-Man turn off the dark. We thought it would work. It really oh, didn't. No. Honestly, even for actual spiders, it's just a terrible, terrible idea. I don't understand I anything I actually you're really saying. enjoyed it, even though it was actual trash. Just out of character for a hot second. I liked it. It was garbage, but I liked it. And the kick line spiders that were facing off against Borba sort of like move in unison uh, to flank you on either side, Arachne, as they wait for further instructions from you. Okay, I think I'm going to walk up, uh, thank my agent uh, <laughs> uh, in gobbledygook and kind of send, send the agent away. Uh, I will then turn to the party and say, as you can see, I have a great many resources at my disposal uh, in the fight against Hecna. Uh, seemingly infinite spiders with whom I can communicate instantly, instantaneously. Oh, how may I be of service? Please tell me. Char? Yes. I would like to look at the room for any posters. <laughs> yes, oh, please go fuck. ahead and roll investigation. <clears throat> Oh, that is a 15. With a 15, you um, scour the stage, the audience, theater, uh, and you do not seem to find any. Okay. <clears throat> I have a weird question. Um, your performances, is there any way to broadcast them to the rest of the Revalia? Hmm. Uh, uh, so that everyone may see at once. We've seen those um, those uh, screens with the uh, the digital presentations. Is Demotron that something yes. thingies? Yeah. Is that something that you you have access to? Uh, DM is that? Something yes, it is. Uh, you regularly do use the Hecatron to oh. uh, broadcast your shows. Um, yes. Well. It's, I actually have, uh, we're very prolific in broadcasting shows. We actually have a database. You see, in these difficult times, what with uh, people staying in their homes, we've just had to broadcast a lot. So meet the people where they're at. You know, and not <laughs> everyone can afford a trip all the way here to see a show. So uh, I want everyone to be able to see great theater wherever they are. Um, <laughs> There's some spider paparazzi who show up and just take a picture of me <laughs> as I shake Asher's hand briefly. Just, <laughs> just like, uh, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna suck back in the, the mites so you don't take damage. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ooh, yes, thank you. Ow. Ooh. Uh, we had an idea. Um, I, in addition to the communication with your coven, Perhaps if Hecna were to make an announcement to the rest of the Revalia, people may join the cause. Huh. And I'm so I'm gonna like as I'm saying this, the like the branches and stuff are gonna start to like resection themselves, and I'm gonna slowly start to turn into Hecna. Uh, but it looks more like labored and functionally difficult than usual. Hmm. I, I'm gonna get note of that. I'm gonna, roll. <laughs> I'm gonna say yeah. if Emily's smart enough to to, to have a thought and a theory, Steve is smart to have a smart enough yeah, to have a thought definitely. and a theory. Yeah, definitely. 
Perhaps mm. if Hecna were to make an announcement on the boards, that the others may join. <laughs> I like the way you think. Theatricality and deception. Powerful agents for the uninitiated. Uh, and I would, uh, I guess I'll, I'll bring in the camera crew. Uh, <laughs> to, to, to make a full, we start like dressing up the set. Um, there's like lighting, probably takes a little bit, uh, but <laughs> I imagine we, I know we probably have a studio. Oh yeah, we, everyone we like yeah. everything, the whole stage changes, like green screen backdrop, um, <laughs> lighting rigs fall down from the sky, all attached via re webbed rigging. Um, and <laughs> uh, your uh, assistant Zygmil, um is quickly ordering everyone around to get things in motion as quickly as possible. Uh, but well, uh, she does give you a knowing look uh, Arachne. Mm, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and I'd like to uh, say, now, uh, what kind of setting are we looking for? Hecna's lair? That's what we're looking for, the green screen? Uh, yes. Um, and while mm -hmm. all of the, like, riggings and, and cameras and stuff are being set up, I'm going to turn to the party and confer um, what is exactly that we wish for Hecna's minions to accomplish. I don't know if this deception will last for very long. Uh, um, have Hecna call them away, or do we want to have them turn? I I will leave that up to guys. Others. Are you asking Maybe, me? What are we or? thinking? No, oh, no, no, I'm talking to the party. No way. No way. <laughs> <laughs> this is an aside. You can't. Having a moment. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear whatever Kelly said last time. Uh, basically it. asking, because yeah. um, uh, Asher doesn't have that much intelligence, so this is like spur of the moment <laughs> idea. Uh, what exactly do we want to te tell uh, Hecna's crew to do? Do, like like uh, Sarah said, do we want to like send them away or have them attack Hecna? <laughs> um, my thought is, what if what if Hecna fired them all and said, if you have a problem with it, come take it up with me personally. I'll fight every one of you. Mm. Or is it still the Blood Moon? The uh, blood moon currently, okay. it is still Blood Moon. The okay. rage is going Maybe on. That is better then. I was gonna say we can make it a hide and seek game. Last one to find Hecna. Mm. Or first one to find Hecna wins. I think the if you have a problem with it, come find me. We'll yeah, do the same. Yeah, no, that is better. All right. Because if it's still a, still a blood moon, yes. Uh, Arachne, uh, I believe that we have come to a conclusion. Yes, you see that Arachne has been like they've been applying a bunch of makeup to him uh, <laughs> in such a way that like it looks like he's tied up, uh, <laughs> and he says, "Now here's the situation." Uh, Hecna will probably kill me if I do this. So I'm thinking the way that this has to work is in order for this to not be an immediate, uh, in order for me to be able to continue helping you and not have this not be immediately exposed uh, to our enemy, our shared enemy. I think you may have to have me tied up in the back mm -hmm. uh, just to show that I am I have been defeated. Now, of course, to anyone who isn't Hecna watching this, it will simply appear that Hecna and I have had a, a falling out, and I have been restrained and perhaps made an example of. Uh, but uh, to Hecna, it will appear, of course, that whoever is impersonating him has captured me, which is will mean that it will be the last thing he expects when I unleash my spiders upon him. Uh, or that's should... just a way for you I... to be able to betray us and be like, I was never helping them I... to begin with. I think. I, I, I... I signed the clause. I signed the contract. I will one-up you that, though. If we're using makeup and things, why can you not pretend to be dead in the background? Much more dramatic. Even better. Ooh, much more fun makeup. <laughs> Uh, special the effects stuff. and all of that. Zygmilt yeah, comes over the... to you and starts like applying like ara um, arachnid blood um, over yeah. your face. <laughs> and I, like, Scorch the marks. Others, I'm like, also then they are not going to move on camera. <laughs> um, do we want like some of us tied up too, so that way Hecna knows it's us behind it, or do we want to avoid that? I think. I think if it's Hecna on his own. 
it is more impactful to the people mm -hmm. who he has employed. I don't know. Hecna. Because they worship this dude. Yeah. The Hecna impersonation yeah. is also something we have done in the past, so I believe that Hecna probably would yeah, see probably a meet. This is out. not a message for Hecna. No. Um, no. And uh, I'm going to take out one of the Hecna masks because <laughs> I still have like seven of them. Yeah. Um. Uh, you got the masks. We we mass produced those. <laughs> I knew it would be. I knew it would be a big seller. I kind of like <laughs> turn back to Arachne and just put put a finger to my lips. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're dead. There you go. Perfect. Uh, count me in, I suppose. Uh, you see, you see the stage manager come in with, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> counting down in fingers, and all eight of the arms are doing it. <laughs> uh, yes. I kind of like, I flourish the cape that Steve has given me to like seem more dramatic and like angry. Uh, and as it goes live, putting having the mask on my face, I will begin to communicate as Hecna. What do you say? I have become very disappointed with all of your performances. One would have thought during the Blood Moon you would have taken advantage and murdered those pesky Marge's favorites, but unfortunately, you have not done so. As you can see, even one of my lieutenants have failed, and I had to make an example of them. So... The Revelia soon will be taking up root and moving, leaving all of you behind. If any of you have concerns, if any of my revelers wish to communicate directly with me, you may come to me directly, and I will fight all of you off until the last of you is dead. You have no place in the Revelia. I have no need of incompetence anymore. I just kind of like settle back down, hoping that they cut before. Uh, my before message, my message, say the word, you're fired, you're fired. <laughs> Remember to tell them that they're fired. That they're being left behind. I did Not that, you're all fired. Yeah. Also, you're all fired. Okay. Just like completely still in heck. You're all fired. I don't, <laughs> I feel like a lot of you are really dumb. So you're all fired is what I'm saying basically. All the revelers, screw you. <laughs> and <laughs> Zigville uh, closes the live feed, which now begins to loop over the Hecatron broadcasting, uh, available for view to in all areas of the Revelia. <laughs> um, can I have? I, I don't know if there's a role associated with this, but if there is, can I have like given? advantage like a help action by pretending to be Ooh, dead in the background yes um let's say with the arachne dead in the background we'll give a plus five because you already have advantage with the hecna yeah. mask and let's do what would you like to do intimidation persuasion or performance uh all of those are literally exactly the same <laughs> so Make let's it performance <laughs> uh yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah. So you get to roll with advantage, and you have a plus five due to Arachne's uh, performance in the background. <laughs> All right, I need everyone's energy. I'm building up this spirit ball. Please send me all of your performance Damn energy. Fasting. <laughs> Ooh boy. Lighting a candle. Ooh, okay. Okay, so here's the story. Ooh. Here's the narrative of what I've just rolled. One of them was the nat one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one of them was a 15 plus my natural five of being so, uh, my stage presence. So that gives me a 20 plus the five of the assistance. That's a 25, baby. <laughs> Very yeah. successful. Yeah. Very, right. You have the feeling that you did an excellent performance. <clears throat> Well done. There's spider critics that are like <laughs> all the eight spectacles. Uh, just like, yes, very good. And I'm going to turn to, I'd like to put an arm around each of them uh, <laughs> and say, welcome to the family. We are going to be very, very good friends and wonderful partners. Uh, and then with one of the eyes that none of them can see because they're all just spread around my head, uh, I'm just going to wink at my assistant uh, in response to the look that they Heck. gave me earlier. 
and at this moment, the wink occurs, and a booming voice appears in all of your minds, incredibly loud. Oh boy. I see that you're enjoying your time with Arachne. Too bad he didn't seem to survive. Don't worry, I'll put up a better fight. Come, you're officially invited into the fun house. I do hope you're hungry. And the smell of noodles, bolognese sauce, and meatballs fill your noses as you feel compelled to duel in the funhouse. And that is where we are going to end the episode. Hey. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, so good. Uh, <laughs> that went places. I did the contract. <laughs> oh. I am so hungry now. Yep. <laughs> Spaghetti! <Yeah. laughs> oh, I'm dumb. Yeah. What? Come on! I couldn't have spelled it out more obviously. No, Peter I know. Is Turns out Kelly's Next as dumb episode. as Asher's. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do some housekeeping because ah, the best way to support tabletop titties. <laughs> <laughs> to become a patron at patreon.com forward slash tabletop titties. You can also check out our merch at tabletoptitties.threadless.com and we have a sale coming up. I don't have the dates open. I think it's the 23rd to the 30th where every, all sh- t-shirts are $12 and everything else is 10% off, I believe, is what it is. Ooh. We'll post about it. So make sure you're following us on social media at tabletop titties. Um, if you tweet using hashtag tttitties, uh, you might get an NPC named after you. Yeah, we're close for this season, but next season, get your name on that list. Um, all of this information can be found on our website, which is www.tabletoptitties.com. And every time I'm saying titties, it's with double Ds, if you know what I mean. And Jeremy, please tell everybody where they can find you. Uh, do all the plugs. Thank you so much for coming on. You brought Arachne to life more than I ever could. Thank you so much. Please tell everybody. Um, ooh, whoa, thank you so much for having me. Uh, my name is Jeremy Cobb. Uh, I am one third of the podcast, uh, Three Black Halflings. We are a popular culture podcast, mostly focusing on uh, TTRPGs, but uh, we talk about diversity uh, in the world of pop culture, nerd stuff, TTRPGs. We give DM tips, player tips. We do actual play. We have uh, an actual play season being released right now called Outlaws and Obelisks, which is a post apocalyptic. Dick North Africa inspired Western. Um, I DM it. So if you want to hear me uh, DMing instead of playing, you can go check that out. Um, we do, yeah, it's just all sorts of fun stuff. You can find us wherever pods are cast. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook at TB Halflings. If you, if you want to follow me specifically, I just started using a Twitter account <laughs> for over 10 years for the first time. I finally tweeted from it. Uh, you could find me at Jeremy Cobb one on twitter that's how old it is jeremy cobb one uh with two b's cobb with two b's um who thank you so much to tabletop titties for having me this was really really fun uh i had a nice. great time uh i had never gotten to make this many uh theater references so in many any, any <laughs> contest <laughs> Uh, but yeah good. thank you so much as bit it has been uh absolute uh wonderful time Oh, thank you so much for joining oh. us. Yes, fucking fabulous. Mm-hmm. And I believe that Blackness and Dragons on Q Times is currently streaming because they changed their time to start after us. Ooh. So we should pay right. the raids that they've given us so many times forward and give them the good old raid. Heck yeah. Ooh. All right, so stick around for that. See you next time. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.